Hey guys, welcome back to Feather and Nut Homestead. Um, today I'm just going to do some uh, morning chores on uh, Saturday morning. Not my typical Saturday morning. I normally uh, most of the time work. But I'm um, going to feed some uh, hungry pigs behind me and feed some other chickens and that and uh, just take you along for my morning chores on a early Saturday morning. Um, pig scraps in the morning and like uh, three or four ice cream containers of uh, pig pellets and we'll feed them in the afternoon as well but um, pretty much just from our night before and with water with these guys the little piggies um, I've set up down here as you can see some little uh, pig nipples so they'll that was about a couple of days ago. I've had uh, two attempts at it. First, I just tried a nut on the back with some uh, thread tape, and that didn't leak. They keep uh, they keep leaking. Um, they keep having bum scratches on it and that. So uh, that uh, broke that seal. And uh, now I've just got uh, silicone all around it. And uh, no matter how much uh, bum scratches they do, it uh, seems to it seems to be holding. So. They're never going to run out of water. Before it was uh, that little blue container over there, and it was about you know six times a day filling it up. It was getting a bit uh, so I was struggling with that. But um, these nipples down here, I definitely, definitely recommend them. Okay, so next up we're going to go down to uh, the chickens down on the flats. So um, say bye bye to the piggies. I almost forgot I've got to um, move the cob, give them a bit of food, gave them water yesterday so let's quickly do that and then we'll get on to the, the chickens on the flats right. Okay guys, so today I'm going to move our astrolops, turkeys, and our shavers, and our guinea fowl, and pretty much I'm going to, every two weeks or so, I move them into a new fresh bit of uh, pasture, so I'm just going to quickly do that, give them some food, and we collect eggs in the afternoon, so yeah, I'll get that done.
Okay, so I've moved these guys onto the new pen. Um, pretty much the difference between these astrolops and these hybrid shavers over there is that these guys are real easy to move without having them in their, their cage. Because basically they've got no netting on the bottom. Um, I gave up on that after, after it started getting sticking their poo sticking to the bottom of the mesh. I just ripped out all that mesh. So now I just make sure I've got an extra net and then I make up the net, move them, take down the net and put it to the next one. But these guys are plastered as. They don't test the boundaries at all. I don't need to electrify the fence. I highly recommend the, the heritage breed over the over the hybrids over there. And uh, yeah. But if, you, but if you want egg layers, the best egg layers, you kind of have to get the hybrids, but um, just be prepared that they're going to escape and get into your garden. Okay, so I've moved the savers from there to behind me now. And um, at the moment, no escapees, so that's good. Um, in the first 10 or so minutes, they're always trying to find uh, ways through the netting and whatnot, but it's electrified, so hopefully my, my garden's safe. There's always one or two, but um, yeah, that's all the bottom uh, chicken paddock done. I just had uh, one failure. The, um, I always mow behind the, the chickens as I move them, and then the geese kind of maintain it uh, short. But um, the lawnmower run out of uh, gas, so uh, looks like I'm walking up. But um, I've just got one more chore to do, um, and that's uh, just to top up the, the duck's water. So we'll go do that, and uh, yeah. Okay, so this down here is the, the ducks um, bathtub. So here's all the, the ducks behind me there. So um, about every, every two days we kind of empty this out, give it a bit of a clean and um, give them some fresh water. And every day we kind of top it up. So today I'm just emptying it out and I've got to fill that up. And yeah, so uh, I'll just, I'll fill that up and, uh, you know, it takes about 10 minutes to fill up, so I won't uh, take up more of your time. So, um, yeah, so thanks for, thanks for hanging out with me today and um, this morning doing the chores with me. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Catch you later.